In this lesson, we are going to explore on the practical application of center of gravity and stability. Okay, so one practical application, okay, this type of walker. Have you ever wondered why type road walker always have to carry some sort like a pole in order for them to walk on the type road safely? So uh, we are going to explore on this concept. Before we explore the concept, let me introduce to you this Rolly Polly. Okay, so it's a toy that is cannot be toppled. Okay, so no matter what you do, you will always end up upright. You will uh, not stay down and will bounce back up again uh, like this. So how does this work? The special feature about this toy is that uh, most of the weight is concentrated at the bottom. Okay, it's concentrated at the bottom and thus the CG is very low. And you also notice that the bottom of the Rolly Poly is a semi-spherical semi in shape. So this is a, a simulation of what is happening. Okay, as you can see, this is a simplified uh, Rolly Poly, which is heavy at the bottom and light on top. So, and it's also sp uh, spherical in shape. So what you do is that you can force it down and then if we let it go, you will actually bounce back up again. Okay, if we let it roll and it will bounce back up again. So no matter what you do, it will actually go back up. So why is it that if you have something that's very heavy at the bottom and light on top and spherical in shape, this would happen? Okay, explanation. So this is a simplified diagram where X is the center of gravity of the Rolly Poly. So if you tilt it, okay, if you tilt it uh, to, to the right side, okay, the center of gravity would uh, be like this and this will be the weight and you realize that the point of support because of its spherical shape it is uh, right over at here so this is sort of like the pivot and this is the weight and you find that what will happen is that this weight will create a uh, anti-clockwise moment to rotate the uh, rolly poly back into its original position similarly you find that if you tilt it towards the left the same thing will happen where the weight is uh, over at this side and the point of support would be uh, over here and you find that this will create a uh, clockwise moment to force the egg back up to the uh, original position. Okay, another example. So this is another toy that uh, you, which you try to balance on your finger. It seems to be difficult to balance this toy, but uh, it is actually very easy. In fact, if you put it anywhere, uh, be it a finger, be it uh, on a, a very small, tiny, as long as it can support the beak, it will actually uh, balance. You will even even regain its balance if you even if you disturb it. So if you tap on the wings, it will actually uh, regain its balance. Okay, it will not fall off. So again, you find that it is because the CG of this toy is very low. In fact, it is so low that the center of gravity of this toy is actually outside or below the toy. But how is it possible? Um, let's look at a simple schematic where this is the uh, bird's head and this is the beak and these are the wings. Um, you find that the one trick of this toy is that the um, end of the wings are contained where most of the weights are. So you find that uh, if you have this configuration, the center of gravity of this particular toy is right at the center. But of course, this is not the toy that we are talking about. Later, we'll talk about how do we actually change the center of gravity to outside its body. So if the wings are actually shifted down to this configuration, you find that the center of gravity of the toy will also shift downwards since the weight, the center of gravity will actually follow where the majority of the weight is, which is over at here. So you find that the center of gravity will actually shift downwards. And you realize that this, this particular center of gravity is actually outside the toy bird itself. So when most of the weight are of the toy is at the wings, uh, end of the wings, the center of gravity would in this case be below and outside the toy as illustrated. Okay, so right now you notice that this is the toy and these are the very heavy uh, wings. 
Okay, and then this is the beep. So let's see what will happen. Okay, you realize that even if I disturb it, it will actually always roll back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth. Okay, or you can move it around, it will actually always uh, go back. So how does it work? When the toy is tilted in a clockwise manner, so again the center of gravity will follow in this manner. So this, but in this case the center of gravity of the toy is still below the point of support. Okay, this is the point of support. And the weight will be on the left side of the uh, support. So this is the weight. And this is where the support is. So you find that if this is the support and this is the weight, you will actually create a anti-clockwise movement okay, to restore the toy to its original position. So it will happen, you will shift back. So likewise, of course, if you try to tilt it uh, anti-clockwise, you will do the opposite. So right now, can you actually explain why is it that this particular person needs to carry uh, this long pole in order for help to help him to balance? Okay, notice that there are something that's over here too. So understanding the location of center of gravity can influence the stability of an object, which has many practical applications and not just the, like the toys in that we shown. And it will actually help us to improve the stability and safety of the object so that it doesn't topple that easily. And of course, for this person, it can be a matter of life and death. Okay, that's the end of this lesson. Please subscribe and support my channel. For my other physics video lesson arranged according to topics, please visit my blog at boringphysicsteachers.wordpress.com. You can subscribe to my channel to be informed when I upload new physics video lessons. Thank you.